Hi, my name is uh, Zach Dunlap. Um, I'm a student at Kent State University. Uh, I live, that is in Ohio, that's located in Ohio, obviously. Um, I feel like this video is a little bit needed, as you can tell by the title. Um, why I'm 18 years old in college. Why do I feel the need to carry an AR-15 assault rifle, as I like to call it, assault rifle. Um, and what is the pros and cons from owning one at my age, and just in general, why does the media portray this weapon as a, a, we a war weapon, a, as a mass destruction weapon when it's never been used in war? Um, it, it's just ridiculous and I want to list off a few reasons on why I own one and why I think you should own one as soon as you're 18 and if you're already 18 I think you should go buy one tomorrow. The first reason uh, it is pretty simple. Um, I don't want to sound like some crazy you know, constitutionalist, um, but it is my right. It is my second amendment right to own this firearm. And I'm gonna tell you something. There's no difference between this gun, other than the looks, than any other 223 556 chambered weapon that shoots the same bullets that are these, they're this small. Just because it looks like it's an M4 or an M4A1 or an M16 from the military, this, as you can tell, right here, the three settings are safe, fire, and there's not another setting. You want to know why? Because that setting is for full auto, and this is a semi-automatic rifle. Just like any other rifle or pistol that policemen carry, in this country because those are the only weapons that are legal is semi-automatic there's no the assault weapon ban that is any fully automatic weapon second reason is because I'm scared and that might sound like oh you're just a little you're just a little bitch blah 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 you know you, you don't know how to handle like real-world situations you know and let me tell you something there's a big difference between being prepared and being scared, okay? And when I have this, I feel prepared. I feel like I'm on top of the world. I feel like I have a sense of protection so I don't have to rely on the police, even though I do support the police. I support the police. I wanna be a police officer. I wanna be a federal agent one day. And the difference between me and most police officers and most federal agents is I think everyone should own one of these legally. I went to my local gun store, I filled out a form, even though I don't have to in the state of Ohio, to do a background check to see how the process went. It took a minute. And you wanna know what? I think that's more than enough. You look at these school shootings and they all could have been prevented by one of these or a handgun. I can't own a handgun because I'm not 21. But I can own this. And the fact that Kent State doesn't give me my right to carry one of these on campus and protect myself. Because let me tell you, if there's someone chasing me, someone trying to kill me, someone trying to hurt me, anything, this is much faster to load in a clip, go to fire, load in it, put it in the chamber, and kill that person or harm that person before the police get there and protect myself and my family. There is no reason that I shouldn't be able to protect myself or my family or my friends. I don't have a duty to do that, but I should have a reason to. The third is, if someone like Hillary Clinton would have gotten the presidency, this thing would not be in my hands. They would come door to door and steal your guns, steal whatever they feel necessary. They would have a buyback like Australia did. And you know, it, it's, it's very, it's annoying when, you know, it's usually leftists who don't like guns, but I'm not trying to make this more political than anything. I'm trying to make it as an educational video on why I own this. But. The leftists tend to say, oh, look at Australia, look at Canada, look, there's no mass shootings there. Well, that was different, okay? Making guns illegal now, it, it won't change anything. There's already, mil there's, there's like, what is it, like three or five times the amount of guns than there is people in the United States. We have the most guns in the entire world, our country does. And making a buyback or banning them totally isn't going to do a lot considering illegal gun sales happen more often than legal gun sales. And that is a fact by the FBI. The fact that 
they just feel the need that I, they should be able to take my property that I paid for is ridiculous. Australia did a buyback when there was hardly any weapons. Canada did a buyback and made it illegal when there was barely any weapons. Not hundreds of millions of them on the streets. There's a big difference. My final point is that I had to use this gun to defend myself multiple times. Have I ever fired it? No. But when you whip out an AR-15, or any gun for that matter, when someone's trying to rob you, intimidate you, attack you, hurt you in any way, when you pull out this, their mindset changes. I've used this to protect myself, but I've never once fired it, because I don't have to. It's the fact that this thing, this, this beautiful, machine put together carefully this is an armalite by the way this is the gun I or an MMP is are the only two rifles I suggest you buy if it's if it's, I built this thing from the ground up I bought the parts I built it anyways this is the only thing between you and them not the police not the fire department not the paramedics this is you right then and the fact that I can't protect myself without being judged without being you know spit at or fucking harassed for owning one of these or saying why I own one of these instead they just ignore the facts now how mature is that how mature is that this is the only thing to protect you I am 18 years old I know how to take this apart within half an hour I can take this fully apart and put it back together within half an hour I know everything there is to know about this gun I have a CCW, I've already taken two CCW classes, but in the state of Ohio I cannot own a concealed firearm until I am 21. I still take those classes because it's knowledge. It is knowledge that I didn't have before. And if you took one of those classes or you shot one of these, you will realize the real potential and the power that this gun has. And it will change your mind. When it comes down to it, ladies and gentlemen, it's a mag, a gun, and a few bullets that are going to save you not the police, not the fire department. If you look at the statistics, I'll throw them up on screen, you will see how many people have been saved by guns without even firing them. The CDC released it. It's insane. But you don't see mainstream media outlets covering this. And you never will. You never will. I know there's more of people like me that believe in this. Go out there when you're 18, buy a firearm, a long rifle, because you can't buy a pistol, buy one of these, get educated with it and just be prepared rather than scared once again my name is zach dunlap i'm a student at kent state university and this is why i believe i should be able to carry my weapon on campus